Notification game check. Well, we lit then. What's popping? All right, fam. All right, ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now, let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game. Hitting that like button for the start. Y'all, the real all right, fam. Salute the way up first. We got that boy. NBA young boy. Okay, fam. So the people pretty much been anticipating what the future holds for that boy, NBA young boy, since he got jammed up, bruh. And his fans was nervous because if you familiar with his situation, you know he facing 10 years, fam. And plus, ain't nobody trying to see young boy in jail, bruh. Hell, ain't nobody trying to see him be in jail, period. But and time. Dang. It's more of the same, fam, because we finally found out what the future holds for that boy, NBA Young Boy. Now, according to the advocate, NBA Young Boy avoided being sent to prison. Damn, I just got a 10 minutes, man. My bad, y'all. But back to this, fam. According to the advocate, NBA Young Boy avoided being sent to prison for 10 years, but a judge did order him to spend 90 days in jail and ban the rapper from giving any performances for the next 14 months. They also put young boy on house arrest with electronic monitoring until his probation expires August 2020. Now during court, the judge told that boy NBA young boy, if you want to stay free and survive out there, B, you got to make a choice. You either going to be Contrail or NBA young boy. You can't be both and nba young boy responded to the judge and said i feel the same way i can't be both also she wasn't done yet bitch. after finding out that nba young boy violated a special condition of his probation which was not to be hanging around that boy being 10 and big b she said this bro not everyone is good for you people are users and you're an easy target not everybody who says they're your friend is in reality your friend and nba young boy responded to the judge and said i'm 100 aware of that now as you can see bro that's the update on the nba young boy situation so far you won't be seeing him perform for a long time but it's better than getting 10 years bro which leads me to a question for y'all what do y'all think about this entire situation up next we got to show love to the sponsor of today's video that boy, YBN Snoop, he's an artist out of Mobile, Alabama. He's been rapping since he was a child. His inspiration for rapping was his dad, bro. He currently got a project out right now called Perfect Timing, hosted by that boy DJ MLK and released through Hustle NT. And today, he wants y'all to check out the snippet to his song, Freestyle. Niggas talking big, they ain't call me nobody. Niggas talking big, they ain't call me nobody. Eh, why be in gang? Why be in gang? Why be in gang? Gang, gang, gang. You don't want to sound sad. Young ball nigga, yeah. Young ball nigga, I'm good in the hood. I do the shit that they can't and they wishin' they wishin' they wishin' they could. Hold up, scratch that, uh. I'm a hard ass little nigga, no rock out. Backpack full of little rat rat, nigga can't mess that, nigga got big cow. I'm on they back like a back flop. I'm on they neck like a choker. I'm at they head like a wake cow. I'm like a Dan, I told him. But really, a nigga don't play for. I'm coming up like a street light. My daddy been similar, nigga, I'm go. Watch how I go through the green light. Nigga chain left, I went right. Talking about knock a little nigga, I do it. I heard money gon' ring on line. Shit like a relay Whatever I said Lil nigga I meant it You can go put it on replay And I got some steppers Who really be stepping Nigga you can go on that DJ And Lil Kel on JB talking These niggas hollering out gang gang I really know they ain't body Put three hoes in here no out I fought that bitch back in high school I call her baby She really at childish These bitches know I'm a fly dude She gave me brown like a student in college Okay When she walk by them nigga be watching Oh wait Come back my flag And be your pilot Okay these niggas six plus six, they cut it. No way, can't take my bitch, bro, boy, be quiet. This shit right here come from the head, little nigga, no lie. You playing reach for my chain, nigga, you gon' die. Do the follow on my waist, that big four five. If I up, I'm hitting that brain, don't close my eyes. Call my lieutenant, I'm racing. I got them stuffed in the mat. 
trees Counting too long, I done ran out of breath And I swim and I feel like a fat bitch Keep me a chair like I'm Nike My life won't move no Spike Lee Mind over matter like Icy I don't drippin' shit like a Ficey Knew they were hatin', I make them hate more If you got a bag, you know how If y'all rockin' with that joint Link to the full video Will be in the description Go to it and leave your honest feedback also, he got a joint dropping with that boy Boosie soon, bro. So be on the lookout for that. Up next, we got that boy EBE Bands. Now, if you've been paying any attention to what's been going on out there, bitch, you know that Bands been missing for quite some time now, bro. Really a few weeks. Now, at first, people was taking it as some kind of joke because they felt like Bands was out there being playing a rhyme, bro. But as the days went by and police got involved, people started to get worried and take it very serious, fam. We was all hoping for the best and hoping that he be found alive, bruh. But sadly, we received the devastating news that he wasn't. Good morning. Uh, I'm Dan O'Shea, the chief of police here in Rockford. To my right is the state's attorney chief of staff, uh, assistant state's attorney Mike Rock. To his right is assistant deputy chief Carla Red, And to her right, is Assistant State's Attorney Brenda Quaddy. Uh, we're here today to talk about murder charges being uh, handed down and announced in a particular case. On Saturday, June 1st, 2019, officers from the Rockford Police Department took a missing persons and welfare check report involving William Pickering. Police made several attempts to locate Mr. Pickering with no success. However, his vehicle was located near his residence in the 500 block of Fisher Avenue. On June 20th, 2019, during the course of the investigation, detectives located several people of interest for this case. The investigation led detectives to the 5200 block of Indian Head Avenue, where a crime scene was located. During the course of the investigation, information was obtained that led officers to an undisclosed location in unincorporated Winnebago County, where the remains of William Pickering were located. Winnebago County State's Attorney's Office reviewed the case and has authorized charges against the following suspects. William Arzate, who's 22 years of age, two counts of first degree murder, one count of concealment of a homicidal death. Manuel Ramirez, also 22, one count of concealment of a homicidal death. We are currently looking for other individuals in connection with this case. One of the individuals is wanted on warrants for unrelated matters. Dakota Graff, 20 years old. Anyone with information about his whereabouts should contact the Rockford Police, 815-966-2900, or Crime Stoppers at 815-963-7867. His family and camp is taking the news extremely hard, especially because this is supposed to be the man friends, bruh. So make sure y'all keep them in your prayers. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Stop the violence, bro. Up next, we got to speak on this music, fam. That boy, Lil Baby and Future dropped that out the mud joint, which was hella anticipated, bro. And it's going crazy right now, fam. And the fans in the comments like, nigga, if y'all don't give us a full project, bitch. Also, that boy Lucha dropped his project 650 Luke. He also dropped a new video as well, fam. So make sure y'all go check all of that out. And that boy, Gucci, dropped a new project also, bro, which I'm vibing to. Now, I've been a Gucci fan since the beginning, bro. Me and that boy, Stoner, make sure y'all go subscribe to him. Toast Thoughts of a Stoner. We rock with that boy, Gucci Strong, bro, since the beginning, fam. And every time that boy, Gucci, drop a project, we have to break that bed down, bro. And honestly... We had a disagreement on the last project. I went rocking with that bit too tough. But I'm actually vibing to this one. So make sure y'all go check that out. Also, that boy Chopper and that boy Blueface dropped the video to the remix of that shot of flow. Shot by that boy the goat, Cole Bennett. Make sure y'all go check that out as well, bruh. And we're going to leave the video on a good note. That boy Lil Dirt is free. I'm going to leave y'all with that video of him being released. Once y'all get done watching, I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Dirt, 
Stay your lunch tray head ass out of trouble while you're out on bond, bro. Damn, man. If you're new to the channel, do your boy a favor. If you enjoyed this video, simply click that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell beside it so you get that notification anytime I upload. Also, I got a personal IG now. Y'all been following that bit like crazy. Salute to y'all, bro. Much respect, fam. And on um, my dear, be oh, ball. Go. We out here. We out here. Yo, what's up? I'm getting fired in the motherfucker. They tell you 15 minutes. I'm gonna fucking 30. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were still waiting on the drive when it come up. Just hop in, we waiting on the drop. Hey, tell, hey, you can just stay right here. Another car is about to pull up.